correct way to let go and do wonders in your life. Vertical Bar, The Art of Letting Go. Chapter 1, Understanding Attachment and Its Grip. In the journey toward self-discovery and improvement, the art of letting go represents a pivotal chapter. It's an essential practice that, when mastered, can dramatically transform our lives, fostering a profound sense of freedom and achievement. But to embark on this path, we first need to grasp the concept of attachment and its powerful hold on our emotions, thoughts, and daily actions. The Nature of Attachment Attachment, in its essence, is an emotional bond to ideas, individuals, outcomes, or material possessions. It's a natural part of human psychology, stemming from a deep-seated desire for security and certainty. However, when these attachments become too tight, they can lead to feelings of anxiety, fear, and disappointment. Because the objects of our attachment are inherently transient and unpredictable. Understanding attachment begins with recognizing its forms. Emotional attachments to people, like family, friends, and partners, are the most recognized. But attachments can also be to our career, our self-image, or even to a specific lifestyle. Each of these ties into our sense of identity and self-worth, influencing how we see ourselves and how we think we are perceived by others. The Consequences of Overattachment When our happiness and peace of mind are too closely tied to these attachments, we become vulnerable to external changes. For instance, consider the impact of losing a job or experiencing a breakup. Such events can be devastating if our sense of self is overly dependent on these external factors. Overattachment does not just risk our emotional stability, it can also cloud our judgment, leading us to make decisions based on fear of loss rather than on what is truly best for us. Beginning to let go. The first step in learning to let go is recognizing that our attachments, no matter how comforting they appear to be, do not define our true self. They are merely aspects of our lives. To start letting go, we must acknowledge our attachments, identify what or whom you are attached to, and understand why. Is it because they provide security, status, or identity? Assess their impact. Reflect on how these attachments influence your behavior and emotions. Are they limiting your growth or happiness? Practicing detachment. Practicing detachment does not mean we sever ties or stop caring about others. It means cultivating a healthy distance where our emotional well-being does not depend solely on the presence or actions of these attachments. Techniques such as mindfulness meditation and cognitive behavioral strategies can help manage the emotional investment we have in our attachments. Letting go as a path to freedom. Embracing the art of letting go is ultimately about embracing freedom, the freedom to be authentically ourselves without excessive reliance on anything outside. It opens up space in our lives for new experiences, relationships, and opportunities. Letting go allows us to live more fully in the present, appreciate what we have, and accept the natural flow of coming and going. In summary, the correct way to let go involves understanding our attachments, recognizing their impact on our lives, and learning to reduce their emotional hold on us. Chapter 2. Embracing Change The Essential Step in Letting Go Change is the only constant in life, yet it is often what we resist the most. Embracing change is essential for letting go, as it challenges the attachments that keep us stuck in past patterns and prevents us from moving forward. To truly let go and do wonders in your life, it is critical to understand the nature of change and learn how to navigate it with grace. Understanding the fear of change. Fear of change is deeply rooted in the unknown. We fear losing what is familiar, even if it is something that no longer serves us. This fear can manifest as anxiety, reluctance, or even outright refusal to face new circumstances. However, these reactions only hold us back from potential growth and new opportunities. Recognizing this fear as a natural response allows us to approach it with kindness and rationality. Strategies for Embracing Change To overcome the fear of change and start embracing it, cultivate flexibility. Develop a mindset that is open to different outcomes and not fixed on a specific expectation. Flexibility in thinking allows us to adapt more easily to changing circumstances. Focus on the positives 
change often brings new opportunities and experiences. Focusing on the potential benefits can help shift our perspective from fear to curiosity and excitement. Build resilience. Strengthening emotional resilience helps us recover from setbacks and maintain a positive outlook. Techniques such as mindfulness, regular physical activity, and connecting with supportive people can enhance our resilience. Implementing change gradually. For many, the idea of change is overwhelming if it is perceived as needing to happen all at once. Implementing change gradually can ease the process. Small steps. Break down the change into manageable small steps. This makes the process less daunting and provides a sense of achievement with each step forward. Consistent effort. Regular consistent efforts to change create momentum and make it easier to maintain progress even when challenges arise. Be patient with yourself. Change doesn't happen overnight. Allow yourself the time to adapt and learn from each experience. Learning from each experience. Every change, whether perceived as positive or negative, provides valuable lessons. By reflecting on what each change teaches us, we can gain insights that help us let go of old patterns and develop new, healthier ways of being. This learning process is crucial for personal development and can transform our approach to life's inevitable changes. Embracing change is a dynamic and ongoing process. It requires awareness, acceptance, and action. By learning to navigate change effectively, we unlock the ability to let go of the past, embrace the present, and look forward to the future with optimism and openness. This readiness for change not only enhances our own lives, but also positively influences those around us. Chapter 3. Letting Go in Personal Relationships Letting go within the context of personal relationships is perhaps one of the most challenging yet rewarding practices. It involves releasing the need to control, the urge to fix others, and the dependency on specific outcomes for our sense of happiness. Here, we explore how to approach letting go in relationships to foster deeper connections and mutual respect. Recognize the limits of control. One of the first steps in letting go in relationships is recognizing that we cannot control other people's thoughts, feelings, or behaviors. Attempting to do so can lead to frustration and strain in relationships. Acknowledging this limitation helps in setting healthy boundaries and respecting others' autonomy. Practice non-attachment to outcomes. Non-attachment is not about indifference. It's about caring deeply, while also being open to various outcomes in relationships. This means enjoying relationships for what they are in the moment, without overly focusing on future expectations. It allows relationships to grow organically without the pressure of meeting predefined expectations. Communicate openly and honestly. Effective communication is foundational in relationships, especially when it comes to letting go. Expressing your feelings, needs, and concerns openly and respectfully can prevent misunderstandings and build trust. Listening actively to others and validating their perspectives is equally important. Foster independence and interdependence. Healthy relationships balance independence with interdependence. Encouraging yourself and your partners or friends to maintain individual interests and identities contributes to a richer, more dynamic relationship. This balance helps prevent the codependency that often complicates letting go. Accept people as they are accepting people as they are, with all their imperfections, is a profound form of letting go. This acceptance does not mean tolerating harmful behavior, but rather recognizing that everyone is on their own path of growth. Compassion and empathy are crucial as they help us understand and relate to others without forcing our expectations or desires upon them. Handle transitions with grace. Relationships sometimes change or end, and letting go can mean moving on with grace and goodwill. Whether it's a friend moving away, a romantic relationship ending, or changes in family dynamics, handling these transitions with understanding and kindness can reduce pain and foster healing. Cultivate forgiveness. Holding on to grievances binds us to the past. Forgiveness is a powerful aspect of letting go, freeing us from past hurts and opening the door to peace and renewed connections. 
It involves forgiving ourselves as well as others, which can often be the first step towards healing and letting go. By incorporating these principles, letting go in personal relationships becomes a transformative process. It enhances not only our connections with others, but also our inner peace and happiness. The next focus will be on letting go in the professional environment, where similar principles can lead to significant changes in how we approach our careers and professional interactions. Chapter 4. Letting Go in the Professional Environment The professional environment often demands high performance, competitiveness, and constant engagement, making it challenging to let go without feeling like we might compromise our career progression. However, mastering the art of letting go in the workplace can lead to greater productivity, enhanced creativity, and better relationships with colleagues. Releasing the need for perfection. Perfectionism can be a significant barrier in the workplace. It leads to stress, burnout, and dissatisfaction. Learning to accept that mistakes are part of the learning and growing process is crucial. This mindset not only reduces stress, but also fosters an environment where creativity and innovation can thrive. Embracing flexibility in roles and responsibilities. Jobs and roles are continually evolving, and clinging too tightly to a specific job description or set of responsibilities can hinder progress. Embracing flexibility allows for adaptation to new opportunities and challenges, which are inevitable in a dynamic professional landscape. Setting realistic expectations. Setting realistic goals and expectations for ourselves and others in the workplace is essential. When expectations are too high, they can lead to disappointment and frustration. Balanced expectations promote a more harmonious and productive work environment. Delegating and trusting others. Delegation is often one of the hardest aspects of letting go in the workplace, especially for those in leadership positions. Trusting colleagues to handle tasks not only develops their skills, but also frees up time to focus on other strategic areas. This trust is fundamental for building a strong, capable team. Managing reactions to change change is a constant in most workplaces, whether it's a shift in management, a restructuring of the company, or the introduction of new policies. Managing our reactions to these changes, rather than resisting them, is key to maintaining focus and effectiveness at work. Detaching from outcomes. While goals are important, overly fixating on outcomes can lead to unnecessary stress. Focusing on the process and efforts, rather than just the results, helps maintain motivation and reduces anxiety about factors beyond our control. Developing Emotional Resilience The ability to recover from setbacks quickly is vital in the professional world. Emotional resilience can be enhanced by maintaining a balanced perspective, practicing stress reduction techniques, and seeking support when needed. Incorporating the practice of letting go in the professional setting not only improves personal well-being, but also contributes to a healthier, more adaptable workplace. Chapter 5 Letting go in the pursuit of personal goals and dreams. Pursuing personal goals and dreams often involves a delicate balance between dedication and the ability to let go of overly rigid expectations. This approach ensures that our ambitions enhance our life rather than become sources of undue stress. Accepting nonlinear progress. The path to achieving personal goals is rarely linear. There will be setbacks and leaps forward times of rapid progress, and periods of seeming stagnation. Accepting this non-linear nature of growth allows us to remain patient and persistent, reducing frustration during slower phases. Re-evaluating goals. As we evolve, so too do our desires and aspirations. Periodically re-evaluating our goals to ensure they still align with our values and long-term visions is an important aspect of letting go. This may mean adjusting our paths or even abandoning goals that no longer serve us, which can be liberating and can redirect energy to more relevant pursuits. Separating self-worth from achievements. A common trap in chasing personal goals is the tendency to tie our self-worth to our achievements. Detaching our self-esteem from our successes and failures allows us to pursue our dreams with a healthier mindset and reduces the fear of failure. 
Cultivating patience and persistence. Patience is a virtue, particularly when it comes to achieving long-term goals. Coupled with persistence, patience ensures that we can continue working towards our dreams, even when progress seems slow. It helps maintain motivation and prevents burnout. Embracing the journey. Enjoying the journey towards our goals, rather than focusing solely on the destination, enriches our experiences and lessons learned along the way. This mindset encourages us to appreciate each step and find joy in the process itself. Learning from failures. Viewing failures as learning opportunities rather than setbacks is a fundamental aspect of letting go. Each failure provides insights that can be used to refine strategies and approaches, making future attempts more likely to succeed. Finding balance between striving and contentment. Finally, finding a balance between striving for more and being content with what we have is crucial. This balance helps maintain mental and emotional health and keeps our ambitions in perspective relative to other aspects of life. Adopting these practices in the pursuit of personal goals leads to a more balanced, fulfilling approach to personal development. Chapter 6. Letting Go on a Spiritual Journey Letting go plays a pivotal role in enhancing one's spiritual journey, which often revolves around finding deeper meanings, connections, and a sense of peace within oneself. This process involves shedding layers of ego, expectation, and material attachment to foster a more profound spiritual connection, releasing ego and identity. On the spiritual path, the ego often acts as a barrier to true inner peace and understanding. Letting go of the ego involves reducing the emphasis on self-importance and individualism, and instead fostering a sense of oneness with others and the universe. This shift can lead to a greater capacity for empathy and compassion. Detaching from material possessions While material goods can provide comfort and security, excessive attachment to them can cloud spiritual growth. Practicing detachment from possessions helps focus on the spiritual aspects of life, encouraging a lifestyle that prioritizes experiences and relationships over material wealth. Forgiving and Releasing Resentments Forgiveness is a powerful act on the spiritual journey, involving letting go of past hurts and resentments. This practice not only frees individuals from negative emotional chains, but also opens the heart to deeper spiritual experiences and connections. Cultivating Inner Silence In the noisy chaos of modern life, cultivating moments of inner silence becomes essential. Through practices such as meditation, contemplation, and mindful breathing, one can create a space of quietude within, facilitating a deeper connection with the spiritual self. Embracing Uncertainty A significant aspect of the spiritual journey is the acceptance of uncertainty. Letting go of the need for absolute control and understanding allows one to be more receptive to the mysteries and surprises of life, enhancing trust in the spiritual process. Practicing Non-Attachment Non-attachment is not about indifference, but about not clinging to thoughts, experiences, or outcomes. It teaches the art of living fully in the present moment without excessive worry about the future or regret over the past promoting a serene and mindful existence. Connecting with the Transcendent Finally, letting go on a spiritual level often involves connecting with something greater than oneself, whether this is a higher power, the universe, or a set of spiritual beliefs. This connection provides a source of comfort, guidance, and purpose, enriching the spiritual journey. By integrating these principles, one can deepen their spiritual practices and experience a greater sense of peace and fulfillment. Chapter 7. Letting Go in Our Relationship with Nature and the Environment In an era where environmental consciousness is increasingly important, letting go of our traditional views and practices regarding nature can lead to more sustainable lifestyles and a healthier planet. This transformation involves shifting our mindset from one of dominance and exploitation to stewardship and respect. Reducing consumption and waste. One of the most direct ways to let go in our relationship with the environment is by reducing our consumption. 
This means letting go of the need for constant newness and abundance in material goods, which often leads to significant waste and environmental degradation. Emphasizing quality over quantity and reducing waste are vital steps in this direction. Adopting sustainable practices. Letting go of old habits can be challenging, but adopting more sustainable practices in everyday life is crucial for environmental health. This could involve using renewable energy sources, recycling, choosing sustainable transportation options, and supporting eco-friendly businesses and products. Reconnecting with nature. Rediscovering our connection with the natural world can change our perspective on environmental stewardship. Spending time in nature, observing its cycles and systems, and recognizing our small place within it can help foster a deeper respect and a desire to protect our environment. Letting go of convenience. Modern life often prioritizes convenience, which can lead to environmentally harmful choices, such as single-use plastics or excessive energy consumption. Letting go of the need for constant convenience can help us make more environmentally responsible decisions. Supporting Ecological Restoration Participating in or supporting ecological restoration projects is another way to let go of past environmental harm and contribute to healing the planet. This can involve activities like tree planting, wildlife conservation efforts, and supporting regenerative agriculture practices. Educating and advocating for change. Educating ourselves and others about the importance of environmental stewardship and advocating for policies and practices that protect the planet are crucial in this transformative process. Letting go of apathy and becoming active participants in environmental advocacy can drive significant change, cultivating hope and resilience. Facing the challenges of environmental degradation can be daunting, but cultivating hope and resilience is essential. Letting go of despair and focusing on the actions we can take to make a difference encourages ongoing commitment to environmental stewardship. By embracing these principles, we can fundamentally change our relationship with the natural world, leading to a more balanced, sustainable existence that honors and preserves the planet for future generations. This redefined connection with nature not only benefits the environment, but also enriches our own lives bringing us closer to a state of harmony with the world around us.